right swipe, right swipe. Oh. He's cuddling a kitten. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Left swipe. Left swipe that. Came across a photo of this green eyed hottie. Whole nine, pretty face, tight waist, nice body. Hottie! I just couldn't overlook one small fact. She smokes like an old man at a racetrack. Yeah. You gotta, gotta, gotta swipe it. Let's swipe that. Swipe. You gotta, gotta, gotta swipe it. Let's swipe it. Yeah, you gotta, gotta, gotta swipe it. Let's Hashtag. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood, a neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Please won't you be my neighbor? I am Jacob George. I work with A Ride Till the End. I am public access and so are you.
I am Jacob George. I work with A Ride Till the End. I am public access, and so are you. Right swipe, right swipe. He's cuddling a kitten. Oh, wait a minute. Um, left swipe. Like an old man at a racetrack. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood, a neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Please, won't you be my neighbor? Hi, the disquieting news came this week that TLC is dropping 19 and counting, starring the infamous Duggar family. Not to worry, though, because Josh Duggar is now free to join the cast of Naked and Afraid. Be afraid. Be very, very afraid. This next song by Libby Roderick is for those days when I can hardly make sense of myself. It helps me to focus and to get myself grounded. Way down, down to the bottom of my soul, I'm digging way. 
song uh, is another one by Fred Small, um, the same guy that wrote uh, I Will Stand Fast that we did in the first set. He is a fine and prolific straight ally songwriter from Boston. And um, we need all of the allies that we can get. We, we find that his material is absolutely for us. Uh, so we appreciate him very much. The song is about how it feels to compartmentalize our lives by living in the closet 40 hours a week.
your living room is the factory. The product being manufactured is you. You know, sometimes, uh, sometimes those relationships happen like with that last song, but sometimes they happen a little differently. Uh, when I met my current girlfriend, we did not even like each other. We couldn't stand each other. I thought that she was an icky political bitch, and she thought that I was a puppet of the feminist bourgeoisie. <laughs> we have... <laughs> Have, did you not know that, sir? <laughs> we, we have both agreed since then that we were both right. <laughs> and uh, we, we took about a year and a half to get to know each other and mellow out and uh, fall in love. And uh, just about three weeks ago, we celebrated our 17th anniversary. I think of the last one as a love song, but you know, it's a different one. But this one uh, is a, a positive, upbeat kind of love song, but it's not, not one you're going to hear on Austin City Limits, for sure. <laughs> Much to my mother's chagrin. <laughs> That's her dream for me, is to be on Austin City Limits. <laughs> well, we use the L word entirely too much in our music, and we haven't been invited. <laughs> I'm sure my mother's never even heard of Austin City Limits. <laughs> You are my lover, you are my soul sister, else how could we have come this far? You, like no other, love me so durably, fuera compañera, you are. The goddess in me embraces the goddess in thee. May we bless it be. Long-term attraction, passion, affection. You make my heart throb, my dream girl. Being us in action, spirit connection. Harmony grounds us through this world. The goddess in me.
politics in general and jobs that don't pay enough 40 hour work weeks. Books full of boring stuff, schools that should teach, but kids don't learn a thing. These are a few of my least favorite things. Health care that won't heal and how people treat the earth. Paying tolls and taxes. Disbelief in self-worth. Bitter cold winters that cut into spring. These are a few of my least favorite things. Religions that claim they're true. Don't get me started. Standards that double and people cold-hearted. Judgment and bias when freedom don't ring. These are a few of my least favorite things. killing when I'm depressed and sad. I add that to all of my least favorite things and then I feel really bad. <laughs> Be like Julie Andrews or something. <laughs>